Good morning everybody. Um, yesterday, or in part one, I showed you how to make this orange. So if you want to go back and check out that video, then I shall put a link over this part of the video or a link in the description. And these videos are follow-ons from last Yarn Scrap Friday's videos for these fruit segments. And I thought I would make the actual orange and the actual lemon. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the lemon. And as you can see, the fruit segments from last Friday's video actually match up to the size of the orange as well. So to make this uh, lemon, we're going to be using some yellow yarn, and this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, and we're going to need a little bit of white yarn as well. And again, this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, and we're going to be using we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and it's always a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. We're also going to be needing a little bit of toy stopping as well. So I'm going to need a little bit of toy stuffing um, or you can use yarn scraps as well so if you've got any yarn, yarn scraps left over for making the orange then you can use it to stuff the lemon. <laughs> okay so let's begin. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our yellow DK light worsted weight yarn and our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and we're going to work eight single crochet into a magic circle. And like I said in my um, in part one of this video for the orange, this is going to be a normal paste video um, because last Friday's Yarn Scrap Friday video um, was for absolute beginners, so it's very slow. Um, but this is going to be normal paste, so I hope those beginners out there can follow along. But don't worry, there'll be a written version of the orange and the lemon on my blog at some point. So we're going to work eight single crochet into a magic circle. One, two, and I have done a video in more detail on the magic circle, so I'll put a link in the description to that video if you'd like to learn how to do it and why I do that little dummy stitch at the beginning. Five, six, seven, and eight. So making sure you've got eight. Let's have a look. Two, four, six, eight. We just make sure they're all facing the right direction and we pull our tail in. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. Let's put our hook through, like so, and then just slip stitch. So by the end of that round, you should have eight single crochet. Okay, so moving on to round two, what we're going to do now is, I'm just going to chain one, but we're going to bring up the yarn to keep it nice and loose so it's easier to find when we need to slip stitch back into. And we're just going to go straight into the next stitch, so not the stitch that we just slip stitched into, we're going to go into the next stitch, because we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So we've still got eight stitches, including our chain one. So one single crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch all the way back to the beginning just doing one single crochet in each stitch around Eight, and I'm just going to double check that I've got eight, two, four, six, seven, and eight because it always looks like you've got an extra stitch there. But I always call that the trick stitch because we've chained one. Our chain one's going to be right next to our trick stitch there. So we're going to just skip that fake stitch, which isn't a stitch, and slip stitch into our chain one to join the round. 
like so. And if you count now, you should have still have eight, two, four, six, seven, and eight, like so. So there we go. We've still got a stitch count of eight. And we're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're going to chain one. I'm going to go straight into the next stitch. And do one single crochet. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around again. So we've still got a stitch count of eight. So including our chain one. and eight and again you can see that stitch that wants to confuse us at the end we must remember to ignore that and then ne just next to it is our chain one and we're going to slip stitch into our chain one and because we kept it nice and loose it's nice and easy to find and get our hook into and we just slip stitch and you should still have eight stitches okay you should look a little something like that. Okay, so moving on to the next round, this is when we're going to start to increase because that's created our little nubbin on the end of our lemon. And we're going to chain one again, so make sure we bring up that yarn to keep it nice and loose. Like so. And then we're going to work a single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So right below your chain one where you slip stitched into to join the round on the previous round. I'm going to put our hook back into there and do a single crochet. So you've technically got two stitches in there now, including that chain one. Then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So going into the next stitch, we do two single crochet. So that's one and another one in the same stitch. I'm going to do that for each stitch around, so just do two single crochet in each stitch around until you've doubled up and you've got 16 stitches including your chain one. Fourteen and fifteen and sixteen. And that last one. Okay. And then all you've got to do is slip stitch into your chain one. So you find technically the next stitch, which is that fake stitch, it tricks us. And just next to that will be your chain one. And for some reason mine's gone really small, even though I tried to keep it loose. I'm going to have to find that first part, first loop, move my hook over, find the second, there we go, bring the yarn through, and slip stitch. So there we go. So by the end of that round you should have 16 stitches. Okay, so the next round, what we're going to do, we're going to chain one again, try and keep it nice and loose, and then we're going to go into the next stitch, so not the stitch we just slip stitched into, but the next stitch along. Seems to be quite small as well, for some reason. And we're going to do a single crochet. And we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. So you're keeping a stitch count of 16. Including your chain one. And the last stitch, 16, 
And then we just need to slip stitch into our chain one, so it's our fake stitch. So next to that's going to be our chain one. It's nice and loose this time. There we go. So by the end of that round, you should still have 16 stitches. But now we're going to do an increase round, so we're going to chain one, keeping it loose. And then in the next stitch, so not that one there we slip stitched into, but in the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochet. So that's one, and then another one in the same stitch. Then in the next stitch, we're just going to do one single crochet by itself. So just one, just one by itself. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So one and two, another one in the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this round around doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. That's the beginning. You should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay. So one single crochet by itself, then two single crochet in the same stitch. One and two. Okay. Then when you get to the end we just slip stitch into our chain one. So there's our fake stitch and just next to that will be our chain one. Just slip stitch. So by the end of that round you should have 24 stitches. And now we're just going to do a plain round. So we're going to chain one. And then we're just going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And one single crochet in each stitch around. So you're just keeping a stitch count of 24. So just one single crochet in each stitch. So you've still got a stitch count of 24 including your chain one. last stitch. So you should still have a stitch count of 24 and then we just find our, so there's our fake stitch, there's our chain one and slip stitch into our chain one. Which mine's gone really small now. No! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so you should still have 24 stitches and now we're going to work on an increase round. So we're going to chain one, keeping it nice and loose. <laughs> I need to tell myself that. And then we're going to do find the next stitch, so not the one we slip stitched into, but the next one along. We're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So that's one small yarn one and another one in the same stitch and you should find it lines up with your previous increase there uh, you can see then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches so that's one single crochet in the next stitch then one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in the next stitch so it's one and another one in the same stitch. And again you should find that that lines up with your previous increase which is down there because we did a plain row there of just one single crochet in each stitch round. But if you follow it down you should see your previous increase. And I'm losing my voice. <laughs> but you just want to repeat that round doing one single crochet in the next two and then two single crochet. So that's one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, ending on two single crochet, and you should have a stitch count of 32. And hopefully I can try and get my voice back. Okay, so just coming up to the last three, so we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then the last stitch we do our two single crochet. One and two. Then we just slip stitch into our chain one, 
So there's our fake stitch and there's our chain one, which is nice and big. And by the end of that round, you should have 32 stitches. Okay, so now we're just going to do a plain round, as I call them, of just chain one, then one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in each stitch around. So just one single crochet in every stitch. So you've still got a stitch count of 32. It's just coming up to the last one. And we just slip stitch into our chain one, so there's our fake stitch, there's our chain one just next to it. There we go. And we should still have a stitch count of 32 by the end of that round. Okay, so moving on to the next round, we're going to chain one again, keeping it nice and loose. And in the next stitch, so not the one we slip stitched into, but the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch as well. And then we're going to do two single crochet, which again will line up with your previous increase. Not from the last round, because we just did a simple round, but if you look at the row beyond that, just before that, there's our increase. So in the next stitch we do two single crochet, one and two. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three this time. So that's one by itself, one by itself, one by itself. That's in the next three. One, two, three. And then two single crochet increase in the next stitch. One, another one in the same stitch. And we're just going to repeat that round doing one single crochet in the next one, two, three, and then two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet two single crochet. All the way back to the beginning, ending on a two single crochet, and you should have a stitch count of 40. Okay. So that's one single crochet in the next three. Okay, so just coming up to the last four stitches. So that's one single crochet in the next three, same as before. One, two, three. And then that very last stitch, two single crochet. One and two. And then we just slip stitch into our chain one, which is always next to our fake stitch. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to chain one, and do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each stitch around. So you're keeping a stitch count of 40, and then we're just going to slip stitch into our chain one at the end. We're going to do two rounds of doing this. So it's two rounds of chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around, then slip stitch into our chain one. So I'm going to do two rounds of that, two simple rounds, and then I shall come back. Okay, so when you're finished, just slip stitch into your chain one, oops, sorry, not the camera, into your chain one to join. You should still have 40 stitches, even if it looks slightly bigger. Then we're just going to cut our yarn, pull it through, and there we go. There's our bottom, more well, main part of our lemon and it might look more like a sort of tagine pot lid at the moment or a little hat but um, the stuffing will help shape it afterwards. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to tuck in this tail end with our yarn needle by sewing it to the back with one of the next stitch and then just sewing it through few stitches there we go there we go 
And we don't have to trim any excess, we can just tuck it on the inside because that will be hidden at the end. Right, so the next part is to do the top. And this is exactly the same as what we did for the orange, if you watched my orange video. So you can just, we can either skip that, but to be honest with you, if you've forgotten how to do it, then you might as well just watch this because it'll be exactly the same because I'm going to make it anyway. So we're going to get our yellow yarn again. And what we're going to do is we're going to work our eight single crochet into our magic circle. So it's eight single crochet into a magic circle. Dummy stitch. One, seven, eight. And making sure they're all facing the same direction. We're going to pull our tail end. Here we go. And then all we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So check you've got eight, two, four, six, seven, and eight. And because we did our dummy stitch, it's nice and easy to see. There we go. Just slip stitch into that first single crochet. Just pull that hole closed. So by the end of that first round, you should have your eight single crochet. And then we're going to, let's just move that out of the way. Then we're going to do chain one, so bring it up to keep it nice and loose, so it's easy to work back into. And we're gonna work a single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, so beneath your chain one. So going back into that stitch again, we're going to do a single crochet. And that creates our increase with the single crochet and a chain one. Then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So we do go into the next stitch and do two single crochet. So that's one and another one in the same stitch. So you've got two in there and then do the same around. So that's two single crochet in each stitch around. So you're doubling up and we're going to end up with a stitch count of 16 including our chain one at the end. 15 and 16 and then all we need to do is to slip stitch into our chain one so that next stitch there is our trick fake stitch so just next to that is going to be our chain one which has gone really small on me this will be fun doing it on camera Even if you try and keep it loose, it always seems to get me sometimes as a mind of its own. There we go. It just likes to get me. So there we go. So by the end of that round, we should have 16 stitches. Okay, so moving on to the next round. I'm just going to chain one, keep it loose. Stay loose. And then in the next stitch, so there's our one we slip stitched into in the next one, which has gone really small on me as well, we're going to do two single crochet. So that's two single crochet in the next stitch. So that's one, another one in the same stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. Just one. Then we do another increase of two single crochet. One and two. And we're just going to repeat this round back to the beginning, doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay. Okay, so just go up to the last two. So that's one by itself. And then two single crochet in the last one. One and two. There we go. And then we just find our fake stitch and next to that's going to be our chain one, which is nice and big this time. Yay. Just slip stitch into there. 
There we go, so you should have 24 stitches by the end of that round. And then we're going to carry on doing another increase round, so we're going to chain one to be nice and loose. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. One and two. And you should see it lines up with your previous increase directly now, the row round below. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So it's one by itself, one by itself, and two single crochet. In the same stitch, that's one, another one in the same stitch. And we're just going to repeat that round doing one single crochet in the next two. So that's one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way back to the beginning again, ending on two single crochet. And you should have a stitch count of 32, okay, including your chain one. Okay, so just going up to the last three. So that's Again, one by itself, one by itself, and then two single crochet in the last stitch. One, and another one in the same stitch. And then we just, we're going to slip stitch into our chain one, um, but we're going to join our white yarn. So there's our little fake stitch, and just next to that's our chain one. So let's put our hook in through first. And instead of grabbing the yellow, yarning over the yellow, we're going to bring in our white. What's left of my white. And again, this is a DK light worsted white yarn. A bit of cotton stuck to it. Let's wrap that over your hook and just hold it. And then bring that through your chain one and your loop to slip stitch and then you can pull your tail ends to tighten that into place. Then we're going to do the next round in white so we're going to chain one so just bring it up keep it loose. And the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do our two single crochet, which should line up with your previous increases. So that's one and another one in the same stitch. Like so. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So that's one by itself. One by itself. One by itself. And then we're going to do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. And we're just going to repeat this round doing one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, then just one single crochet in the next three, two single crochet, one single crochet in the next three, two single crochet. Back to the beginning until you end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 40. Okay, so just come up to the last four. So that's one single crochet in the next three, one. Two, three, and then two single crochet in that last stitch. One and two. And then we're just going to slip stitch into our chain one, which is nice and easy to see. There would be our fake stitch. There's our chain one, it's nice and big. But what we're going to do, instead of yarning over with the white, we're going to bring back our yellow. Just yarn over with your yellow. Hopefully you haven't fastened off. Let's bring that through. And now you're working with your yellow again. Just tighten any tail ends. And then we're going to just do one round of one single crochet in each stitch around in our yellow. So we're going to pull up and do our chain one with our yellow. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And just one single crochet in each stitch around so you've still got a stitch count of 40. Okay, just come up to the last stitch. Okay, 
And then we just slip stitch into our chain one. So there's our fake stitch, and then our, there's our chain one next to it. Nice and easy to see. And there we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut cut our white and cut that quite short. But the yellow we need to leave a bit for sewing. So you want to cut a longer length. And don't worry if we don't use all of this for sewing because we can use it for stuffing. And I'm just going to pull through the yellow. And there we go. And what I'm going to do on the back is I'm going to trim down the first tail end and the two white ends because this is all going to be hidden on the inside. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. I'm just going to double knot them to secure them into place. Like so, I'm going to trim these down as well so they didn't get in my way. Okay. And before we sew this to our lemon, we're going to get our white yarn again, which has fallen on the floor. We're going to get our white yarn again. And taking a, a good length of your white yarn, so about, about this much, let's see how many wraps of the hand it is. Seven wraps, you probably don't need that much, but better to have too much than too little. So we're going to thread it onto our yarn needle, and this is going to be our right side, that's going to be our the back of our top piece of our lemon. So we're going to come from the back to the front for the middle. Just thread that through. Yeah, probably I've got too much. And then leave the tail to sew in at the end. What we're going to do is we're just going to sew straight up to the top where the end of our work, where we've been chaining, uh, slip stitching into our chain ones, up to the white. So then we're going to come back through the middle again, through gently. There we go. So that's come through the middle again. And then what we need to do is find our increases over here. So in your white, you should see where you did your two single crochet. So just below that, we're going to put our needle and we're going to sew up to there, like so. And then we're going to come back through the middle. So when you've come back through the middle again, we just find our next increase on our white and put our needle in over there. And so over there, because you want to divide this into eight segments. And then we come back through the middle. That's still peeking through. And then again we find our next increase up there. So just continue this round till you've divided your lemon piece into eight segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so just coming up to the last one. Going up to the last white increase. <laughs> And the last one I end up in a mess as well. So there we go. So it should look a little something like that. And then what you can do on the back is end up in a mess. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that down. And then I'm just going to tie two tail ends because all this will be hidden on the inside anyway so it doesn't matter if it looks a bit messy. Tie that in a double knot, skewer into place and then I'm going to trim the excess and then get our yarn needle back and then our main piece of our lemon back and then we've got to sew them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to thread our our yarn back onto our needle 
and finding so you should have 40 stitches on there and 40 stitches on here so you should be able to sew into each stitch so because that's at the beginning I'm going to find the beginning on here and just go through the stitch there and sew that through and swing that round so that's facing the right direction I'm just going to come up onto this top piece as well and then what I'm going to do is the same for the orange but if you haven't seen the orange one I've been going you go over to the next stitch and then down to the next stitch on the base and so and then we're going to go over on the bottom to the next stitch and then up into the next stitch on the top and then we're going to go over on the top and then down I'm just going to repeat this round going over then up over then down so then we go over on the bottom and then we go up and just repeat that all the way round until you've got a little hole left so you want to carry it all the way round to about there and then leave a little hole so we're going to do some stuffing so we need to stuff our lemon okay so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back so you go over and down Okay, so when you've got uh, around to about there and you've got a little hole left, we can get some of our toy stuffing or you can take all your yarn scraps as well and shove those in. Save on your toy stuffing. And we're just going to stuff our lemon. We're going to stuff him quite um, plump. Stuff him quite plump. So just put all that in. Okay, so there we go. He's stuffed nice and plump so he's almost bulging and that really bulges out the shape which makes it more lemon like and then we just carry on with our sewing so we go back over and up and over and down And up. I think I've got fluff up my nose. <laughs> Over and down. Over and up. Over and down. You should see all the stitches match up with your stitch count. Over and up. And then we'll just go down. Stitches start to get a bit lost back near the beginning where we've slip stitched and things. So just work a few stitches around like so. And all that's left to do is to hide our turn end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to come out somewhere on the body. It doesn't matter where. And don't pull too tightly because you don't want to distort your lemon. Then we we'll go back in where we just come out and come out somewhere else, it doesn't matter where. Again, don't pull too tightly because you don't want to distort your lemon. And then one more, go back in and let's come up, let's come up there. So just pull that in, it should pop back in and disappear, we don't pull too tight. And all that's left to do is we're going to push down our lemon, like so, and we're going to hold our tail end tight, not too tight, trim close, and then when your lemon pops back to shape, tail end's hidden on the inside. So there we go, and then all that's left to do is to shape your lemon, so this is flatter. And there we go, there's our finished lemon half to match our other lemon and you can stick them together and get a whole lemon <laughs> so there we go I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and like I said I should put links to the the orange tutorial as well if you haven't seen that video yet and I should also put links to last Friday's fruit segment video as well and now we've got a whole set of oranges and lemons and you can of course repeat the lemon pattern to make a lime as well if you use green yarn 
So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I shall see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. But it's my own theme tune. Bye guys. Thank you.